Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through how to perform the hollow body hold with perfect technique. Seemingly looks easy, right? It looks like an easy exercise, but holding this exercise with proper technique for extended periods of time is incredibly difficult. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through the proper steps to performing the perfect hollow body hold, as well as giving you modifications so any fitness level can start holding this movement and building next level core strength. Okay guys, first things first with the hollow body hold, you always wanna train this movement and this exercise without shoes. So with socks on or barefoot, this allows us and enables us to create better full body tension. So you can feel the difference, try them with shoes on, then try them without, and you'll see how much better you can really create that full body tension with this exercise. Okay, step number one is the hip positioning. So we never wanna have our lower back up and off the floor like this, arched in anterior pelvic tilts. We should never be able to put our hand underneath our lower back. So what we wanna do is go into a neutral tilt or a posterior pelvic tilt. So we're gonna take that lower back, we're gonna pin the lower back to the floor, and we're gonna tuck our abs in. So we don't wanna be bulged out like this with the lower back pinned, tuck your abs in. So think about pulling your belly button into your spine while keeping your lower back pinned to the ground. Okay, step number two, we're gonna address the lower body. So when we lift our legs up and off the floor, we have that lower back pinned to the ground, abs are tucked in. We're gonna bring our legs about 10 to 12 inches off of the floor. We're gonna bring our feet together. We're gonna aggressively point our toes away from us. We're then gonna flex our quads. What this is gonna do is create tension from the tips of our toes all the way up into our hips, into our core. Okay, step number three, we're gonna address the upper body. So we have the lower back pinned to the ground, abs tucked in. Quads are flexed, toes are pointed, feet are together. Next up, the upper back is gonna be up and off the floor. So shoulder blades should be up and off the floor throughout the entire exercise, kind of creating that hollowed out position. Next, we're gonna aggressively extend our arms up and overhead as if we were holding a handstand. So we have tension, boom, arms are locked out. So now we have tension all the way from the tips of our fingers all the way down to the tips of our toes. We're holding and locking this position in. Remember, with the hollow body, the most important thing is you're keeping that lower back pinned to the ground throughout the entire exercise. Now, let's talk about modifications. So if you're trying this movement out, you're quickly realizing how difficult it is, especially when we're maintaining the lower back pinned to the ground. So when do you modify? You wanna modify as soon as that lower back starts to come up and off the ground. So if you cannot hold the full-on hollow body hold with good positioning and technique, lower back pinned, then you need to modify. So the first modification, what we're gonna do is keep all the same principles in place, toes pointed, quads flexed, lower back pinned. We're just gonna bring the arms to our sides, still keeping tension through our arms like so, upper back off the ground. Okay, if you're having a hard time keeping your lower back pinned to the ground with this modification, we're gonna take it a step further. So we're gonna bring our arms overhead, and we're gonna bend the knees. So the more that you bend the knees, the easier this exercise is going to be. So we still wanna keep that tension through the upper body. So upper back off the ground, arms are locked out. So tension from the tips of our fingers all the way into our core. Now I want you to pick a level of bend that allows you to maintain good technique, keeping that lower back pinned to the ground. So if this is where you can really maintain good technique, then stay here. If you wanna bring it out a little bit further, you'll feel that it makes it more challenging right away. So again, pick a level of bend that allows you to keep the lower back pinned to the ground the entire time. If you're still struggling to maintain good technique with this modification, I want you to take it one step further by bringing your arms to your sides with bent knees. We have the arms locked out, so we have tension all the way to the tips of our fingers. Lower back is pinned to the ground. Feet are together, so we're creating lower body tension as well. And remember, pick a level of bend that allows you to maintain the lower back pinned to the ground and good technique throughout. If you guys have any questions about the hollow body hold, make sure to drop those in the comments below. I'm happy to help out. Also, check out this video here or check out this video here. And until the next one, I'll talk to you guys soon.